My fact this week is that it took the creator of the Rubik's Cube a month to solve it the first time he tried. That is mad. A month <laughs> of really trying it's as well. It's so crazy. You, have to, I would have thought after about 20 or 30 days, you would just make a new one. If you didn't make <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. this doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, invented 1974. He was a professor and he just had this idea and he loved making shapes all his life. And he tested out this thought. What if I could make something that was static on the inside, but fluid on the outside? And that's what gave him the idea. And he had a bash at it. It's later been worked out. Uh, uh, quite a famous number if you know Rubik's Cubes that 43 quintillion is the number of permutations mm -hmm. that you can make on the Rubik's Cube to get it back to the state that you want to get it to um, and uh, so luckily he got there within a month yeah very exciting it's pretty good well I'll tell you what's weird his prototype wasn't three by three his prototype mm. was two by two so I've got this. And that a, took him a month. That's the thing. Well, I'm curious to know if this is the one that took him a month because this is. Okay, so it's like four wooden blocks yeah. um, that have got various colors and numbers on it and they're held together almost by bits of wire. Yeah, so that was the original one. And mm -hmm. he supposedly took a month to do a Rubik's Cube. It must have been a three by three. It must have been a three by three. That one's piss easy. Yeah, exactly. If you're clever enough to make that. <laughs> You're clever enough to solve it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You can do a Rubik's Cube, James. I can. Yeah. And I think you can, Lucy. I, well, I, um, yeah, my children are obsessed with them. We've got <laughs> hundreds in the house and all those weird ones, you know, there's like weird different shaped ones and mirror ones where there's absolutely no oh. uh, colours on it and stuff. So uh, this is a long way of me saying... I should be. Able to <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I have at one point been. Wait a second, because James, you know oh, how I don't to do, do one either. One. James, you do the one with the, with the colours. The, the other classic. thing is about oh, yeah. the Rubik's cube is that I find that when you're under pressure, it's almost impossible. Yes. Because mm. you do it kind of with muscle memory. Yes. Uh, yes and then yes. as soon as you start thinking about it, you can't really do it at all. Is yeah, it, I made a terrible um, decision when because I did learn to do it when my kids got into it, and then I decided we were doing a live podcast recording of fingers on buzzers, and I uh, <laughs> I said, oh, I tell you what will be fun, I'll solve a Rubik's cube <laughs> while we do this round, oh, yeah. and it took about fifteen minutes, <laughs> and everybody it, was is, embarrassed for me. Is there an algorithm basically? It's like yeah. a set yes. uh, pattern yeah. of moves that will help you work on the side you're working so, on. But layers, yeah. that's the key. Yeah, exactly. It's layers, so... not sides. So you don't try and solve face. Well, you solve the white face first. But that's kind of to give you the bottom layer, and then you what? do middle layer, and then the top, and then the yellow is last. So you, so you can see at wrong. the moment that I've done the bottom layer, right, mm. or the top layer, right, right, and right. then you do the middle one, then you do the top one. I remember when we oh. went on the Only Connect, Andy, and they asked you for facts about yourself, and my fact was that I could do a Rubik's cube in less than a minute. Yeah. Uh, and the team that we were playing with, apparently, one of them said that he could do three Rubik's cubes in thirty seconds. <laughs> 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 they decided they weren't going to use that fact. <laughs> <laughs> Made you look pretty foolish. Yeah, um, yeah. There is a documentary about speed cubing, oh, which yeah. I 100% recommend you watch. Um, it's about Max Park and Felix Zemdegs, who are two of the top YouTube um, top uh, YouTubers. YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of, everything's you something. Um, the top speed cubers in the world, and it is the most adorable. Even if you d can't do a Rubik's Cube and never touched one, it's the most adorable documentary about sort of being a bit of a nerd and bonding. And right. it's so absolutely gorgeous. But it's it's huge, the speed cubing, because we had to get a timer so that we could record my kids' times. <laughs> and also my kids said, oh, uh, can we have some cube lube? <laughs> and that's the moment that I was like, well, I'm sorry, what? As a mother, you've got to worry, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> Could we have some cube loop? Because they're now all... So what you're solving there, James, is yeah. the sort of original... Obviously not the original original, but the um, the sort of classic Rubik's Cube. Yeah. But uh, the new ones are magnetic and... Right. I didn't know there were others. Oh. I've, I've been reading articles about like the top cubes you can get, and I, was, I feel can so Can I just find behind. out what the lube is first before we <laughs> it's just move to, it's on? It's just to lubricate the heart but of the know, is cube. There a, is there a brand? Is it a specifically sold lube? There or is one of the best cube lube. We didn't get good cube lube. So we it's got... called cube lube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. We got dodgy cool. cube lube. And it's allowed um, as well. It's, it's allowed in competition. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. You're it's like chalk on your hands if you're an athlete. Yes. Is that? Oh, yeah, that is loud, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. yeah. Um, well, there's just I read a piece about the, you know, there are so many cubes. The world. There hey! we go. Hey! For nice. listeners, James has just completed the Rubik's Cube. <laughs> That's why I've been silent for the last three minutes. <laughs> yeah. uh, but by the time I've edited this, it'll be about 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. You can listen to the full episode on this channel or wherever you get your podcasts. 
And don't forget to subscribe for weekly episodes and clips. And you can join Club Fish via Apple Podcasts or Patreon for ad-free episodes and exclusive bonus content.